some science. Oh, I like this guy. Hey guys, Lovable Chevy here. Just wanted to uh, show you my latest project that I have completed. Um, this is the Pocket Atari. I have had this in my brain for about eight years or so. Um, what it is, is um, it is a Atari Flashback 2, which has 42 built-in games on it, and it's put into a standard 2600 cart uh, with screen batteries controls. And it's also the same size as a 7800 cart. That's the one I had nearest to me. This is a standard cart. Um, and I followed the same way that the stickers go, hence why it looks like it might be upside down. That's how those originally were. Uh, po pocket Atari. And then the ports and where the game was is all down there. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've had this idea for a really long time. It's a very space conscious project. Um, it's very tight fitting. Uh, I was barely able to fit everything in there. I had to sh actually had to make a last minute substitution of the batteries I used uh, so that everything would close up and, and work. But uh, I got it all done and uh, I think it came out pretty darn good. I wanted it to look as close to a stock cart as possible. So from this angle and right there, that looks pretty much just like an Atari game and from the top. And then you turn it around and it's like, oh my gosh. This is a portable. That is weird. Um, so a quick overview. Obviously, that's your screen, the, your D-pad for your controls. The A is the action button. This is your uh, select and your reset, um, aka start button in more common terms, but it was called reset on the Atari. Uh, over here, you have your um, these thumb wheels are your color and brightness controls. And then over here is the volume control. You cannot see it, but the speaker is underneath the sticker. It just lays nice and flat. It's actually right there. You can feel it if you run your thumb over it, uh, but that's where the speaker is. Uh, your hands do not obstruct it when you are holding it and playing. Uh, your fingers fall below it. So, um, and then on the bottom here, we have uh, from this side, this is your charging jack. It does uh, play and charge at the same time. If you if the batteries are dead and you still want to play, you can do that. It'll just charge at the same time. This is your power switch. This is the difficulty switch for player one. Um, when it's in the left position as it is, that's the easier setting. When it's in the right position, that's the more difficult setting. And this is a mini USB port that I use to make a custom one player paddle controller, which I will show you in a moment. Um, it does have the uh, Flashback 2 does have two hidden paddle games in it uh, that you can use with the Atari paddle. So I wanted to be able to implement that. So I just made a nice little single player controller for it. Um, that's like, it's really not much to explain about it. It's a pretty simple project. Um, I have not done a battery test life yet. I'm planning on doing that after I do this video tonight. Uh, so I can give an update on that in the comments later. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's let's show it. The uh, helps if I press the right way for the power. So it's a two and a half inch screen, um, and the screen that I use has a built-in audio amp. That's how I was able to get it all to fit because it's a very uh, it's a very compact screen that I have. So um, show some adventure. The speaker is extremely loud. I'll show you how loud it gets. Whoops, I didn't want to press that. I want to press that. At least to me, it's really loud, but better to be loud than not loud enough, I guess. Sorry, I'm trying to look over my camera so I can play the game. It might not work. I'm going to try to play through all of Adventure Level 1. I do love Adventure. I used to have this level memorized like the back of my hand when I was growing up. Ah, run away! Run away from the dragon! Crap! In all of my other run-throughs I've done of this, the dragons didn't even get close to eating me. And of course, when I'm trying to record it to show you guys, I almost died. <laughs> I almost died! Ah, what the heck are you doing in here? 
Oh my gosh! <laughs> Run! I bet you weren't expecting commentary <laughs> like this. Oh, uh, no. No. Down. Go. Go. Crap. Dang it. Ah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I tried. The, um, but you see the controls do work well. And um, the paddle, like I said, it has hidden uh, paddle games in it. The way that you access them is uh, you type in, well, you don't type in. You use the up and down to insert the year of that Pong came out, which is 1972. So you go, you start with up and then go to down. So it's one up. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. And there's your paddle games. And then I'm just gonna plug in my paddle controller, which I actually it's an original Atari paddle controller that I've just uh I've utilized to have a just single player, because normally the Atari paddle controllers are two into one control socket. Um, I removed it so it's only one player and it's with the mini USB and um, this might be difficult to show you guys due to camera angles and stuff. Here we go. How about I do this? Yes, paddle games. Super Breakout. Everybody loves some Super Breakout, right? So yeah, you can, whoop, it's really hard for me to see over this uh, camera and play holding it like this. But you can see that the paddle is working well, or as well as I am capable of doing it at this point in time. But uh, yeah, guys, that's, uh, that is basically it in a nutshell. This was a very, um, it's a very simple finished project. Um, it took me exactly a month to do over eight modding sessions which I did live stream everything that I did for it um, which you can catch that I do I stream on twitch it's uh, twitch.tv slash lovable Chevy and uh, I do put all of my streaming sessions on my YouTube which I'm sure you guys have noticed so um, but yeah and uh, if you want to see the work in progress thread that I had for it. I had that over at my forums, which is bitfixgaming.boards.net. Go over there and give us a look if you like anything that is gaming related. We are not strictly a modding forums. We like everything that has to do with video games. So come and give us a look and uh, join in our conversations. But, uh, but yeah, that is... Uh, that is my latest project. I finished it on the uh, 15th of March, as it says right there. I wrote it. Um, I'm glad to have finally gotten this project done. As I said, I did plan it out about eight years ago. The uh, I have a friend who was also tried to do it several years ago, and he decided that it was impossible to do and have decent battery life. Like I said, I do still have to do a battery test, but I am anticipating that I should get about four hours of battery life on the setup I have. So, and I think that's pretty darn decent for, you know, Atari 2600, because who actually sits down and plays the Atari 2600 for that long? There's some awesome games, but they don't generally hold your attention that long, just saying. But anyway, um, it is literally the size of, like, tiny that is in my back pocket in this picture and uh, it only weighs 4.6 ounces which I've discovered is less than my phone my phone weighs 4.9 ounces and I don't have that high tech of a phone so there you have it it's very compact very light fits in your pocket good to go but yeah guys that's uh that's what I have finished as of this moment in time so uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, just shoot them in the comments, uh, and we will see you guys next time.